2021 just kicked 2020 in the nard so let's hit the shadowlands expansion properly with the best performing hunter spec right now as of this moment with no nerfs yet right you will get your talents legendaries covenants and conduits and as always the rotation and more in today's guide for marksmanship hunter which finally rose out of the ashes like a metaphorical phoenix to kick bm aside no that things can always change and blizzard does class tuning fairly regularly so look at the date this is published and let's hit it Like that subscribe button, hey, it's that time of the year or video. We reached 100k recently and we won't stop there. More than anything, if you actually like our videos, hitting all those YouTube buttons beneath helps the platform push it to more people, helps us grow and in turn makes us do more good shit. Talents. On the first row for both raids and dungeons, so for both single target and multi target, Master Marksman is the way to go. This talent changed in Shadowlands and now makes your crit hit apply a bleed for 6 seconds for 15% of the damage they dealt initially. This makes crit a much more desirable stat but more on that later. Moving down, careful aim will be ideal in single target and most raid bosses and encounters. It's what you have been playing with so far, you know, aim shot does 50% more damage to targets above 70% health. This essentially equates into a lot more damage over the course of a fight. For AoE fights, Explosive Shot is the best option here. <laughs> yes! Finally, it's good again. God damn it. Oh, I've missed this ability so much, man. It's so much fun simply having an extra button. Also deals big ass damn, dude. So yeah, you'll most likely use this in dungeons. But if you want to have more AoE damage for raid fights like Sun King or Huntsman, this is also a viable option, but when it comes to raiding, it matters how your group does fight so you can take advantage of it. Otherwise, if you want to be safe, just use it for dungeons. Next row is a lot of boss survivability and we recommend natural mending. Both raids and dungeons have mandatory group damage at times and when you add mechanic fuckups by either you or a group member, exhilaration will be used a lot more and a lot more. But really, pick whatever you want here, as long as you can actually make good use out of it. Next up on the 35 row, Steady Focus will be the main raid option. It performs the best in single target, but raiding is where you will use it mostly anyway. This adds a decent amount of haste to your kit, which is usually the stat that feels the best in single target scenarios when you spam Steady Shot more than in AoE anyway. Speaking of, Streamline is the AoE version, mostly used in Mythic Plus, but has a place in raids as well. We don't want to recommend specific talents for specific fights since those fights take into account your tanks or raid leader being able to execute the strategies for those talents to be effective. A good example is Chimera Shot, which is the best on two targets like Huntsman. Yet my guild tanks the second dog outside of cleave range to avoid accidental shade spawns, meaning that Chimera Shot will not be that great for me than other groups that tank all dogs in cleave 100% of the time. Just an example. On the level 40 row, post haste will be the most universal choice here. Having that little extra burst of speed helps positioning you nicely since you will sit and card cast more than any other hunter specs. Aim shots, baby! Take so fucking long to cast with low gear! Next up, at least so far in the meta, double tap is the only good choice for both raids and dungeons. It's pretty self-explanatory, but you will want to use it with aim shot always. Ideally anyway, especially with every other change MM will play with this patch, so aim shot is king. On the last row, finally dude, I wanted lock and load to be a thing for almost two years now. Yeah, lock and load is the single target, so by extension the raid choice you'll play with the most. It procs instant casts of aim shot, which is maybe a much bigger focus on the spec than ever before, plus instant casts indirectly adds your mobility, helps with applying your legendary effect to other targets if we're talking about adds and it's also good damn, of course. More on the legendary in a bit. As for the dungeons, Volley, the new real kit on the block, puts Marksmanship Hunter in a very fun spot and on the map. Yes, it's fun to play and having that trick shots passive enabled even on two targets is pretty cool. 
with it being on a 45 second cooldown it will be up for every pack you do in dungeons if the key is high enough When it comes to stat priority, you have to understand that no answer will ever be correct 100% of the time. The way the game is made, and with the diminishing returns added to secondary stats, you never want the same stats stacked to max. The best way to figure out what your best stats are always is to sim yourself with tools like RaidBots.com. To give you an idea, and for those of you who don't really care that much for that few extra percentages in DPS, eye level will be better than anything aka agility so just pick the highest eye level piece you have after that crit will be good because of the crit itself whatever effect it has Ooh, does more damage and also the talent we talked about earlier after that you have mastery followed by verse and haste to give you a better idea of what it means to have the best setup once you get a bit of gear your stats can change into something like this these are currently my stat weights and you can see haste skyrocketed to the top because i just have a lot of gear with crit and mastery and almost no haste for your enchants your weapon can have two options sinful revelation is the raid version mostly excelling at single target damage output while the optical target in beginner <laughs> is the ideal one for dungeons goddamn gnomes and goblins on your chest piece, go with Eternal Skirmish and the Heavy Desolate Armor Kit, ideally for that extra stamina. On your boots, 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 On your boots, put Eternal Agility, and for your cloak, use Fortified Leech. The old reliable ring enchants and gems are still here and will be crit focused. Hence, Deadly Jewel Cluster and Tenera Critical Strike will be your choices, or if these are too expensive, it's still worth getting the cheaper versions. As far as the things you stick in your face, Potion of Spectral Agility will be your best DPS potion in almost all of scenarios, and the Spectral Flask of Agility for that 1 hour agility buff. Close off your alchemical needs with the Shadow Core Oil for your weapon and Yuguchi. Ideally for food you want the Feast of Gluttonous Hedonism, since your main stat is still the best to get if you are in a position to choose. Obviously, if you do dungeons or you are a cheap bastard, spine fin souffle and fries will be your second best thing to eat. Marksmanship performs pretty well, and although it's not number one across all the boards, Blizzard has been throwing <coughs> balance changes to other specs in that position as well. So things may change in the future. For now, the Night Fate with Nia as a Soulbind will be your best covenant and the one of choice. Wild Spirits is simply amazing in its performance, both in single target, but especially in AoE. The path you want to take is the one that enables the first potency conduit leading up to Nia's tool's burst for the most amount of damage. That means you will only have one potency conduit to use and right now in raids and dungeons it will be Spirit Attunement. It seems to be the best for everything right now, but there are other conduits you can use as well. If for some reason you are not with the night phase, Sharpshooter's Focus is the next best thing to replace. As for finesse and endurance conduits, just pick what you like and can make use out of the most. And if not, just pick whatever you find more fun. Mm. Similarly to stats, you can find the trinkets in a list based on their best performance on websites like bloodmallet.com and herodamage.com. Right now, the best trinkets for most scenarios are the inscrutable quantum device, or more aptly named the huh? trinket, and the dreadfire vessel. The huh? trinket has about 17 possible procs, which is why the tooltip for it is what it is and why we gave it that name. Because it deserves that name. The crit proc gives a massive amount of critical strike if you are lucky to get it. Yeah, lucky, because you cannot control the procs you get. I have gotten the crit proc fairly often though, so maybe there is a failsafe mechanic in place. While the Dreadfire Trinket seems to be universally good for all classes based on the raw amount of damage it offers you. Moving down to the legendaries, there's one that performs the best and we mentioned its effect earlier. Serpent Stalker's Trickery makes your aim shot apply a Serpent Sting on the target. This does not work if you cleaved it with Trick Shots, 
which is why you want to target swap and hopefully have multiple serpent stings out if you are in an AoE scenario. One of the better AoE legendaries if you want to change things up a bit is Surging Shot. Although this only outperforms Super Sucker Strickery in very heavy AoE fights where Rapid Fire takes the cake, maybe in very heavy Fortify Mythic Plus as well, might not be better in the end. Lastly, for single target as an alternative to the BIS one is Eagle Talon's True Focus. This works during True Shot and of course can give you massive bursts on your openers since you also would be using Careful Aim and most likely Bloodlust. If the Calling the Shots talent ever starts becoming way better, this legendary can potentially see more play. But right now, Serpent Stalker Strickery performs the best, but the last legendary for MM that we didn't mention was King in beta before it got nerfed. So you never know, so if this one will be nerfed also, which I have my doubts, you still have alternatives. On your single target opener, start by using double tap before the pull. Cast aim shot 2 seconds before the pull. Use steady shot twice for the buff. Activate wild spirits. Cast arcane shot. Activate true shot. Use aimed shot and rapid fire and continue with the true shot rotation followed by the normal priority list. Your number one priority is to keep steady focus buff up the entire time which has been the one mechanic I had to get used to the most making the spec a lot more engaging. Either the buff is not up at all or it's close to dropping, making sure it's always there is the most important thing to do. Kill shot is the next thing to put on cooldown once a target reaches executive range. After that, explosive shot when fighting dungeon bosses since you would have it because it's a dungeon after all and it's still single target. Double tap next if you can follow it with an aim shot instead of rapid fire. The buff lasts for a bit so you don't need to have your aim shot right after it, but it has to be aim shot and not rapid fire following double tap. Wild Spirits should be the next one on the priority list. Volley after as well, even in single target. Activate True Shot if you have an aim shot charge available, and then aim shot next if you have no precise shots left to cast. Rapid fire on cooldown so long as you will not be capping on focus, and then use Arcane Shot to consume the Precise Shot's buffs or if you want to not get focus capped. Steady Shot as a filler and also to keep up steady focus. The True Shot rotation is maybe one of the things you will have to work on more and something I had to train myself to do as well. During True Shot, Aim Shot and Rapid Fire have top priority to not be kept off cooldown. If you can stay above 50 focus and you won't cap on Aim Shot charges, or keep rapid fire on cooldown, you can cast arcane shot to consume precise shots, but they are not on as high of a priority as they are during your normal rotation. It's better to over generate precise shots than to waste potential aim shots and rapid fires. In AoE, supposedly 3 or more targets, having trick shots up by casting multi shot on 3 or more targets is the most important thing to do. Multi shot will be used to generate said proc and also consume precise shots buffs. Pop Volley and use Aim Shot and Rapid Fire in its window in any order and consume the precise shots with Multi Shot. If you are fighting only two targets, Volley still will give you Trick Shots but you will not be casting Arcane Shot or Multi Shot at all. Double Tap should be used on cooldown especially before entering combat since the buff lasts a bit and obviously used with Aim Shot. If Aim Shot is not available and Rapid Fire has 3 or less seconds left on its cooldown, use it on Rapid Fire. Explosive Shot is also ideally used before tackling a new pack, supposing your tank will group the mobs as quick as possible so the AoE damage applies to all of them after those 3 seconds delay. We did our research by playtesting things, looking up what the top players do and staying in touch with the True Shot Lodge Discord, but things can and will change in the future, although we will do our best to keep you updated in the comment section below and our Discord of course, we really strongly recommend keeping your eyes on the True Shot Lodge community where the top hunters like Azer Thorian keeps the community updated with his top notch info. You can find that also on his Icy Veins guide concerning all hunter specs with advanced info and more in depth explanations when it comes to rotational bits, legendary stuff and so on. Props to the man and all of the top hunters there for keeping us informed and making us better hunters. And thank you to the Patreons for supporting our content. 
we welcome you in the new year with our first class guide and there's more more to come and we're so happy that you are on this journey with us and supporting us to do this and always always try to improve and if you're the viewer also enjoy our content and want to give a little bit more obviously it's not required or requested but it is very appreciated and you can find our patreon link down below thank you for watching the video make sure to catch us on stream at twitch.tv slash marcellian online and we'll see you next time i've been loving it then i still love it now still i play wow still i play wow getting better every day let me show you how because still i play wow still i play wow it's getting harder to stay but at the end of the day it's a guilty pleasure so just log in and play whether it's classical retail i'ma do a slash bow still i play wow